Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a recruitment pipeline dashboard in Microsoft Power BI. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful recruitment pipeline dashboard. This is the overview page wherein I am showing the different slicer, position applied, source, stage and then status. And then we are showing the numbers here like total application received, number of candidate hired, rejected candidates and average time to hire in days. We are showing the few charts also, total application received by month, total application by the interviewer and the status like active and closed. Then here we have the total application by position applied and the total application by sources. We have created total six pages. This is the first page. The second page is the pipeline analysis. So just click on that. It will take you to the second page. This is the pipeline analysis page. We have the same slicers here. Then we are showing the total application by this stage. So you can see the total applications currently in the different stages. Here we are showing the position applied and the count of total application in the different stages. Now let's go to the third page, which is source performance. Here we are showing the average salary offered by the different source. We have the source here like company website, referral, indeed, job fair, LinkedIn, etc. Then this is the higher candidate by the source also. And this is the application by the sources. Now let's go to the interview analysis. And here in the interview analysis, we are showing the interview count by the interviewer. And then here we have the interview success rate by the position applied. So this is in the percentage. And this is the candidate name, interviewer, stage and notes in a table view. Now let's go to the time to hire analysis. In the time to hire analysis, we have the average time to hire by the interviewer as well as average time to hire by the position applied. And we have the candidate label details also for each candidate. What is the average time to hire? And we are putting the source as well as the interviewer name also. Now let's come to the salary and the offer analysis. In the salary and the offer analysis, we are showing the average salary applied by the different positions. And here we are showing the employee label information also, including the application date and the hiring date. Okay. Now I will quickly show you how we have created this in Microsoft Power BI. So let me quickly show you the PBIX file which I have created, the Power BI desktop application file. Okay, so this is the PBIX file which I have created. Now let me show you the data first. So we have this data, this is the dummy data wherein we have the candidate ID, candidate name, position applied, stage, application date, source, interviewer, status and hiring date salary offered and we have the notes also this is the dummy data you can use your own data then you can just use this dashboard this is the ready to use dashboard you can download this from our website once we loaded this data to the power query let me show you the power query part also all the steps which we have applied because our data was very clean, so we haven't applied any step here. These are the simply default steps. Now let me close this and uh, here we can show you the data. So let me go to the table view and I will show you the data for this recruitment data. This is the data which, which we have loaded from the Excel. And uh, here we have added one calculated column that is time to hire. We have put this DAX function if hiring date is blank, that means the person is not hired. So if it is blank, then it will show the blank. Otherwise, it will take the hiring date minus application date. That will be time to hire, okay, in days. Now, we have created some measures. So let me quickly show you the other measures also. And before that, I will show you the calculated table which we have created, that is calendar. Here in the calendar, we have put the calendar function and we are using the minimum of the recruitment application date and the maximum application date. Okay. Now let me show you the all majors. First average salary offered. This is the simply average of the salary offered column. Now average time to hire. We have created time to hire column. We are just taking the average of that. Then the hired candidate. We are using the count rows 
inside the calculation and we are putting this filter we are just taking the hired candidate now here we are taking the interview count that is the simply count rows of the filtered data and we are getting the count of interview scheduled here we are getting the interview success rate so interview success rate is the total application and how many hired out of them so we are taking the denominator as total application and the numerator is count of hired okay then here we are taking the rejected candidate so we are just taking the count of rejected candidate using the count rows and the filter function this is the total application which is simply count rows of the recruitment data okay now let me show you the calendar also wherein we have added other columns like month to add the month we have we are simply using this calendar date mmm and here we are taking the year and here we are using one month number then we have sorted this month name column on the basis of that month number from here okay you can see this is sorted by the month name now we have completed everything now we have created the visualization to create the visualization we have taken the support of powerpoint also so let me come to the powerpoint and here we have created some background like this we have simply used the rectangles and uh, with the different colors so we have taken these colors and we have created different background for the different pages so once you have created that background you just have to save it as png image okay so just save it as a png image that's it so now we have saved it let me show you we have saved it as bg1 bg2 and bg3 and then in the pbix file here if you go to the format of the page and then inside the canvas background you can just upload that image here we have uploaded this bg1 and you can take any other image then select here fit okay after that we just have created the slicers from the visualization so just go to the build here and take the slicer we have taken this slicer and then we have taken the position applied from here similarly the other slicers we have created and here we have created these cards okay so this is the simple card this one we just have taken the ap total application from the major and similarly here hired candidate this one and this is rejected candidate this one and here we have the average time to hire so we have this average time to hire also so everything we have ready and similarly we have created this chart here this is month and here we are taking the total application and this this is the area chart this is the stacked bar chart you can see here the first chart and here we are taking the name of interviewer then the total application and the status all right and these are the donor chart and the pie chart so here we are taking the source in the legend and here we are taking the total application and on this chart we are taking the position applied and the total application to create this navigation buttons you just need to go to the insert then just go to the button and here we have the navigator and you just need to take the page navigator as you click on the page navigator it will automatically add this okay and from the formatting you can change the shape of this so just go to the formatting and here we have the shape option you can just change it as you want so we have taken pill you can take the let's say this arrow or if you want if you want to take something else you can take that we have taken this one all right now let's move to the pipeline analysis here we are using the background two. the processes remain same we have the same navigation buttons same slicers we just have added these two different visual this one is the total application by the stage so we have the total application and we have the stage here so we are taking this total application by stage you can see on the x-axis stage and the total application this is the matrix visual you can see in the visuals on the rows we have taken the position applied from this table and then stage is here in the columns from this table the total application is coming from major this one all right 
Now similarly we have created the next page which is the source performance and in the source performance also we are showing three main chart the same process is here everything is here and on the top and the slicer is same but we have just changed these three chart first is the average sale offered by the source so the average sale offered by the source is a bar chart cluster bar chart on the y axis we are taking the source from the recruitment data table and uh, average of sale average of sale offered we are taking from here okay and here we have the application by source so application by source we are taking this is the we are taking here candidate id so we are taking the count of candidate id that is the application or we can take it from the total application from here also it will show the same information okay as you want this is the higher candidate by source so we have the higher candidate major and we have the source here so we have created this bar chart now let's come to the interview analysis and i will quickly show you the other information here we are showing the three different chart the first one is the interview count by the interviewer then we are showing the interview success rate we have created the measure for this one interview success rate this one and then here we are showing the different information of the candidate in our table view okay in the time to hire we are showing the average time to hire in the days by the interviewer and this is the average time to hire by the position okay these two charts and one we are showing the candidate level information similarly in the sale and uh, offer analysis we are showing the average sale by the position applied so you can analyze by the different positions what is the average sale we are offering and then this is the table view all right friends so that is how we have created this in microsoft power bi if you want this ready to use dashboard you can download it from our website you can visit to our website and if you need any customization in this dashboard or you want some other power bi or the excel dashboard you can just email us you can get our email id from the description box friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching